Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how to flash a custom ROM. Like from this scratch, we are going to see like all these steps, unlock bootloader, flash recovery, and everything on this Redmi Note 10 Pro. So, so guys, let's begin. So first of all you just need to go to the settings, go to the settings, go to the about phone, in the all specs, just keep clicking on the MIUI version, click for 5 to 7 times and the developer options will be turned on. Now go back to the settings, open the additional settings and in the additional settings you, you will be able to see the option developer options. Then go in the developer options, you will be able to see the option OEM unlocking just turn that option on enter your password and just enable that option and also you need to turn on the usb debugging as you can see here you can see the option me unlock status it will ask for some permission required just click on agree and you can see add account and device now it will ask for the mobile data it will not work on the wi-fi so you just need to turn on the mobile data compulsorily for this step just click on add account and device and do this step only once do not do it more than one time and if you are getting a seven day waiting time then also do not you do not need to do it again this is the once only you need to do this only one time after that just connect your phone uh, connect your phone and now let follow me on the laptop or computer whatever you have these are the files you will need the me flash unlock tool you will need i will give the link for the files in the description below so you can download it from there just extract the me flash unlock tool or you can directly open it as you wish but i recommend to extract the me flash tool after extracting you can see the me flash unlock.exe file just click on that and open that file after opening you need to just click on agree and log into your me account the same account which is logged into your phone so you need you just make sure that you are logging into from the same account now just boot your phone to the fast boot mode just press and hold the volume up volume down button and the power button directly or you can do it like this way just switch power of your phone the switch of your phone then press and hold the volume up button volume down button and the power button until it vibrates and boots to fast boot mode so just press and hold it the volume down button and the power button until it boots to fast boot mode after it has been booted as you can see on the screen the phone connected message will be shown and here it will show unlock will erase user data so before unlocking the phone you need to make sure that your data is been backed up everything will be wiped out the whole phone will be formatted and you need to again set up your device so just make sure all the data has been backed up before unlocking the bootloader now click on unlock and just click on unlock anyway this will again warn you to back up your data so just click on unlock anyway and uh, as you can see here it stopped on 99% and showed me couldn't unlock and please unlock 168 hours after late hour uh, later which is 7 days waiting time you have got so now you need to wait for 7 days this is i am showing because many of you might face this issue while unlocking the boot bootloader okay so guys after 7 days you need to perform the same steps like uh, on the phone you need to do nothing but on the laptop just connect your phone boot to the fast boot mode connect start the me unlock sign up and the click on unlock and now as you can see just click on unlock anyway anyway and as you can see the phone has been unlocked successfully and you know and the phone will reboot automatically to the system now if you don't want the phone to boot to the system just directly boot to the fast boot mode and flash the recovery and flash another custom rom so you can do it that way so, so you can avoid booting your phone to the system just directly boot your phone 
to the fast boot mode if you want to directly just flash the another custom rom directly don't want to use the miui again so these are the other files you will need this is the rom file the pixel plus ui the platform tools you will need and the recovery file you will need just extract all of them all the files and open the orange fox folder and in the orange fox folder you can see the option the file recovery the recovery image file the disk image file here it is written so just copy that recovery file extract the platform tools and in the platform tools just paste that recovery file now after pasting it up on the top just write cmd and uh, as you can see the command prompt has opened after the command prompt has opened just type fastboot devices and as you can see here it is showing fastboot is not recognized as an internal or external command this can happen with you too so the reason is because we didn't have installed the adb drivers so now as you can see this file the adb setup here file links will be in the description go download it double click on the adb setup file just press y here do you want to install just press y system wide y y y just this installation wizard will appear just click next and the device drivers will be installed and ready now just close the uh, open command prompt and open the command prompt the same way which we did previously command prompt will open now type fastboot devices and the device will be shown here after the device is shown just type fastboot flash recovery recovery dot img or you can just directly drag and drop the file the recovery file which we just copied here you can just directly drag and drop the file to the command prompt and press enter and now the recovery will be flashed and it's done the recovery here is done now you need to reboot your phone just now to reboot to recovery mode press and hold the volume up button and the power button on your phone until it has been booted to the recovery mode so just wait till it boots to the recovery mode after the unlock has been completed now as you can see the orange fox recovery has been booted and you will be able to see the folder fox now the storage has been gotten encrypted and uh, the connected the phone will be connected to the computer but the computer will not be able to detect it so for that you need to format the data go to the delete option go to the format data and just type yes here after typing yes just reboot to the recovery again now you need to keep rebooting to the recovery again and again and format the data again and again until the phone has appeared on the laptop until you are able to see the storage on the laptop as you can see here it has as you can see this is what it will look like the storage until the storage and the fox folder you are able to see on the laptop then and only you will be able to copy the rom file just copy the rom file this is the rom file pixel plus ui i am using just copy the rom file and the orange fox zip file this time copy this zip file then again go to the phone now as you can see these files are both the files are available so after the files are available select first select the orange fox file and swipe to flash here so just flash the orange fox zip file now and it will automatically boot to the recovery mode again orange fox recovery and you this time you can see welcome to orange fox now fully orange fox recovery has been flashed just click on right and now you need to flash the rom so to flash the rom first of all you need to wipe so go to the wipe wipe delvic or art cache data and cache the select these three options in the wipe and just flash it just swipe and wipe these three options after wiping you need to select the pixel plus ui file on the phone and just flash it and now the pixel plus ui will be installed on your phone without any errors as you can see this will take a bit of time to flash it will take around 3 to 4 minutes to flash the rom so just wait and don't panic and after the rom has been flashed just wipe the caches again 
and you are good to go now reboot to system the first boot will take around 5 to 10 minutes to boot so just wait don't panic but in my case the redmi note 10 pro didn't even took 5 minutes it just got booted in 2 minutes only and as you can see welcome to your pixel and now just enjoy the pixel plus ui so how the rom is and how that is you will get to see a detailed video about the pixel plus ui soon on this channel so if you still haven't subscribed to the channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and this was the whole step to flash a custom rom unlock the bootloader flash recovery and flash a custom rom that is it so yeah this was it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below on the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye